Hey everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today I wanted to share my thoughts on the recent sale of a Ford GT and get your thoughts on it as well. So if you're into cars at all, you probably know at least a little bit about the new Ford GT. You know that back in 2016, Ford had uh, created an application process that you had to apply in order to get an allocation for a new Ford GT. And that created some deal of controversy because people didn't think that you should have to apply to buy a Ford car the same way that Ferrari vets their uh, customers in order to get you know their high performance models like the LaFerrari, the TDF, whatever. Anyways, Ford had originally allocated 500 cars, wound up turning into a four year run of a thousand vehicles. The first 750 are all allocated at this point and there will be another application process in the next few months for the final 250 car run. But when you got an allocation for a car and when you actually bought one, you had to sign an agreement that said you would not sell the car for two years after you took possession of it. And that was meant as a way to curb investors and flippers and try and get the car into the hands of enthusiasts and people who would actually enjoy the car. And for the most part, it's been very successful. There have only been a few instances of people selling the car prematurely. John Cena turned out to be one of those flippers. He got a very early production number for GT, had it for about two weeks, and then decided to sell it. So Ford, understandably, was not very happy, and they pursued a lawsuit against him, which is still ongoing. The verdict has not been uh, been decided yet, as, as far as I'm aware. And now there's the second case of somebody breaking their agreement with Ford and selling the Ford GT. So the story of this one goes that the owner was is an older guy who owns a lot of car dealers. He wound up taking possession of the car, didn't put any miles on it, took delivery of it with seven miles and still uh, you know, sold it with seven miles. It changed hands about a month ago and then the second owner now brought the car to the Meekum auction where it just sold again this weekend. So I'll let you listen to Dana Meekum talk now about the sale of the Ford GT. It's a 2017 Ford GT with seven miles. Ladies and gentlemen, I want you to just be assured to bid on this car, bid openly, uh, feel comfortable. There's been a lot of rumors and so on and so forth because of the uh, restrictive choice plan on these cars when they're sold new. Uh, we had a little issue in the courthouse about this and the judge did rule in Meekum's favor that we could sell this car and if Ford wanted it back they were welcome to come here and bid on it. So it is a publicly legal sale of a Ford GT. We had some people worried that there's going to be repercussions. There's no repercussions with this car. It's already been tested in court. You bid on it, you buy it, it's yours. It's America. You can buy and sell what you want. So it seems like the initial contract that Ford made people sign may not have been initially as robust as it is now. Uh, since this whole John Cena thing happened, the contract is a lot more strict and makes sure that nobody is going to be able to flip the car. But for the first year and for the, the early model runs, it seems like Ford had some issues with the contract they put together. But regardless, you know, that's besides the point because people who are flipping it really, you know, you sign a contract, your word should mean something, whether it's technically legally binding or not. I mean, you put your, you sign your name on the dotted line saying you weren't going to sell the car for two years. You should at least have enough integrity to follow up on your word. But it seems like, you know, people are not really honoring their word and I think that's pretty sleazy of the initial owner and then again for the second owner to to go ahead and flip the car and you know even for Meekum to know that Ford had tried to put a two-year hold on these cars for them to still sell the car seems a little bit shady in my opinion as well so I think it's kind of unfortunate that this happened because there were so many deserving people out there on the list that had to get turned down just because there were not enough allocations to go around but you know, when people like this come through and just clearly don't care about the car at all and just want to try and flip it and make a quick profit, um, it kind of takes away from the people who actually wanted to enjoy the car. I think the only thing that was kind of cool and interesting that came out of this was the fact that the Ford GT sold for 1.8 million, which is kind of, you know, cool to see that it's appreciated to the point where it's almost an instant classic. And from a value perspective is on the same level as like a Porsche 918 and a McLaren P1. So I think that is pretty cool. 
uh, from that respect, but still very unfortunate that the sale even happened in the first place. But I'd like to know what your opinions are. Let me know in the comments below whether or not it was uh, sleazy for Meekum to sell the car or for the car to be auctioned up in the first place. Um, let me know what you think of the value of the car and uh, anything else. I'd love to hear it in the comments below. Thanks again for watching. If, uh, if this is your first time checking in, be sure to check out my other videos and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video.